Captain America Civil War. I I really know don't know where to start. The movie Okay, just so you know, there's going to be spoils here and I'm going to be explaining everything on what happened, certain scenes. Oh man. I just finished watching the movie like two times, three times so far and then oh, the movie's great. Oh my god, the movie, the fight sequences are good. The story is great. All right, so this is basically a sum up of what I'm going to say about how I feel about um, the story development before I get into the characters. I feel like the story development was very well done. I mean, it could have been, it could have easily been a bad movie with so many characters in the film because you got Captain America, Ant-Man, you got um, Black Panther, and some of these characters don't haven't had their solo film, like Spider-Man hasn't had their solo film, and Black Panther hasn't had their solo film. <clears throat> and for them to, you know, be in this movie and not really be explained so well, I, th I felt like it was like a little crazy and how the story has really changed a lot. Because let's be honest, the movie's called Civil War and if you were to really read the comic books, it's kind of not like, you know, the comic books. It's different. The story is way different from, like, you know, the comic books compared to the movie is way different. But I understand where they're coming from with the concept of the Civil War and the boundaries of the contract that they have to sign and how Captain is refusing and how he's trying to help out his friend. And it's hard to choose a side. I'm going to be dead honest with you with that. But they've done a, such an excellent job explaining each and every one's character. Like, I felt like every character had a purpose for the story. Some characters didn't, but it wasn't too much of a big deal because you could tell that, you know, you know their purpose was just to help out. And you could tell why they would help out and how, you know, how they feel helping out, you know. It, it's just, it works very well as a story. I haven't seen Batman vs. Superman, so I can't really compare the two. But from what I feel that um, right now, is like Captain America Civil War is seriously, seriously an amazing Marvel movie. It's probably the best one so far. I've, I've seen a couple of Marvel films, as a matter of fact, and... I feel, I personally feel that, psh, dude, this was a remarkable performance from Marvel. It's, it's fucking great, man. I loved every second of um, Captain America Civil War. It was great. I cannot wait what Infinity Wars has. The Russo brothers, ah, oh, man, the Russo brothers are really, they're good. I mean, if you've seen Winter Soldier, oh my god, you're gonna love this movie. Winter Soldier was excellent. I loved how Winter Soldier was like. And this one, is, it makes Winter Soldier look like nothing. If you were to seriously watch Civil War, you're just like, wow. They have an excellent mixture of story development, character development, and fight scenes. They were able to, you know, create this story and make it interesting. I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, they had a lot of fight. They had a lot of, like, talking scenes. But then... You know, if the talking scene seemed too long, they would cut straight into a fight scene. And the fight scene would, like, entertain you and grab your attention. And then another talking scene. And then you got another fight scene. Talking scene. Fight scene. Talking scene. Character development. You're having a lot of that going around. And you're trying to, like, your mind is, like, trying to pay attention to everything all at once. You're focusing on the the characters. And then you're, you're focusing on the fighting because it's all awesome. And then... By the time you think about it, the movie's over. And you're just like, wait, what the fuck? You're trying to focus on all the characters. You're trying to focus on all the fighting. You're trying to focus on everything that's going on. You forget you forget that the movie finishes so fast. And you forget to realize, oh, shit. This movie's about two and a half hours. It's like, you forget. That's how good that movie is. You forget how long of a movie this is. And it's really told properly. And with two directors on board... It, I have no doubt in my mind that Infinity Wars is going to be excellent. I cannot wait to see how Infinity Wars is going to be like. I'm so excited. Um, overall, um, the characters. Oh, man. I'll go down the list, the list of characters. Um, obviously, this definitely feels like a Captain America film. It definitely, you know, you feel, you know, Captain America was excellent as always um you have bucky he was excellent great um robert all the basically majority of all the characters that 
I've already had their own movies. They're excellent. So I'm going to go down the list of the characters that really weren't in the film. Um, well, had, hasn't had their own movie yet. Um, I'm going to go down the list. Of, um, I'll go with Black Panther first. You know, Spider-Man, leave the best for last. Um, I feel, wow, I feel that really Black Panther done it. And, he was an excellent actor. I love how, how his accent was like. He has a very strong um, African accent. It, it worked well. Oh, my God. And Wakanda looks... Oh, dude. Wakanda looks fucking awesome, man. I would love to... For him to be a king, too, is fucking awesome. I, I was a little afraid, though, for Black Panther because, you know... Black... Black Panther has a story arc that not too many fans are familiar with. With Spider-Man, you could get away with not explaining his story arc. But, I mean, Black Panther, you have this character that you love, so uh, that you don't know so much. And you, you want to know, but... Uh, like, I don't know his story arc so well, so from what I've taken from what I saw in the movie... I never read the Black Panther comics, I'm, I'm going to be dead honest. From what I've known so far, he's just a character that's a king... Um, very well known for vibranium and his family has this um, this ancestry like this little history behind the Black Panther you know tradition <laughs> the Black Panther in general and basically the Black Panther is this you know symbol for you know power from where he de derives from kind of like how Batman is with you know his bats and shit and it's kind of it's kind of a symbol, his kind of symbol, his thing that sticks onto him, like how, you know, every superhero has their own symbol. And, um, his father dies, and, you know, when his father dies, he basically wants to avenge his death, um, by getting, you know, back at, um, Bucky, because apparently Bucky was the one who killed his, um, his father, uh, his father. Bucky apparently killed his father. Which was a huge lie because it was uh, Zemo. Zemo was good. Zemo, I've heard of Zemo. Zemo was good. He was really good. I I feel like he was... Honestly, he was... Well, he was fucking smart, man. For him to have the Avengers fight each other... And him not do anything about it... Oh my god, he was fucking smart. Zemo was probably the smartest villain I've ever really thought of. Like, he's pretty fucking smart. For him to think of that, that was pretty smart. His plan was basically to l make sure the Avengers were fighting each other. Because what's the point in having the Avengers, you know, what's the point in fighting the Avengers yourself if you know you're going to lose? Might as well have the Avengers fight themselves and they lose by killing each other. Clever thought. Never would have thought of something like that. That story arc was pretty cool. It would have been nice to see Zemo have a costume. Yeah, he doesn't have a costume. It's unfortunate, it sucks, but you know what? Who, who cares? You know, the costume is whatever to me. My, my perspective, I mean, I mean, if he does come back in the future, I would love to see it happen. I was expecting a lot of different things happening. No one dies. No one dies. And I felt like it would have been too cliche if someone died. So I'm glad no one died because if they went with an original take on how, you know, it went well. Must say, though, overall, it was great. Oh, man, the movie was great. Ugh. And now, last but not least, I am going to talk about someone very important. But wait, hold on. Let me... This is going to probably call for something very important. So I'm probably going to have to use my web shooters for this one. Oh, well, as you know, I have organic web shooters, so I'm going to have to web this one right now, okay? So, let me, one, two... Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. Um, let me try that again. Okay. One, two, and go. There we go. Web shooter's working fine. Man, I must say, okay, out of Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Oh, dude, I feel like, wow. Tom Holland was excellent. I really, really had... Oh, man, Tom was excellent. He has a mixture of nerdiness and... Uh, fucking witty remarks. It's it's incredible. He's he's great. I fucking love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I felt like he definitely established the character properly. He was able to create the character really well. And have fun with it. Um, 
all his scene like he definitely stole the show he stole the show the, the, ugh. having spider-man there oh man it was great his costume i'm not a fan of his costume i love the eyes the eyes are great um the web shooters are great. I like how he has the classic utility belt, and it, it works well with the costume. Uh, I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot, and I'm glad he's finally getting his solo film. Um, him as Peter Parker, he looked like a nerd. He definitely looked like a, a straight-out nerd. Something that I did notice, though, that Andrew did not have in The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, his accent. He has a New York accent. I just didn't notice that. His New York accent was very... It was well done well well done you could tell it was new york accent not too strong but very light and something i didn't realize um toby is from um uh, new york so he has that accent too so i i it was very believable that he was from queens i i saw it straight off the bat once i heard his accent he very you know and he's very nerdy and you could tell his um his performance once he saw robert it was just like you could tell he was shocked. You could tell that was his real reaction. He was, he was really believable. I, I loved him as um, Peter Parker so far. I did not like Aunt May. Aunt May was... Oh, oh. I felt like Aunt May was too hot and too young. She looks too hot. She looks too good looking. Like, I love... Um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I'm a huge, huge classical spider-man fan i've i've read the classical comics before i i actually i'm starting to read some of the ultimate comic books because i'm not familiar with the ultimate but i've read um the 60s version to up until the 90s and from what i remember at may is technically a grandma she's a grandma at may i don't care what anyone tells me oh that means she no aunt may is a grandma she's she's a grandma she's supposed to look very old and frail and the point of that is for peter to you know take care of her because you can see that aunt may is this woman that you always constantly have to take care of her because she's old she doesn't have money she can't you know do hard things on herself because you're you know peter would always be afraid she would get a stroke or something bad will happen to her or you know if he shows his identity to aunt may aunt may will you know get in shock and she'll be in the hospital like these were kind these were, these were things that peter would always constantly be concerned about <laughs> in his mind of aunt may and i feel like now that he's spider-man he's not really concerned about aunt may at all because aunt may is so young she looks so healthy that you're just like oh you know if peter were to reveal his identity to aunt may aunt may would be like oh my god i accept you as my son still like it, it, you know whereas in the comic books if peter were to reveal he's spider-man she'll probably possibly get a heart attack or something she'll be too shocked because she probably she doesn't know what to you know i mean take it for example when she found out um in, in this and toby mcguire i'm gonna mention yeah toby oh i know i know i'm mentioning toby um, in Spider-Man, uh, 2, when Peter reveals, you know, that Bones, um, uh, he was at the Bone Saw thing doing the wrestling and stuff just to get money, and, you know, it was his fault that, Aunt, you know, that, uh, Uncle Ben died, and she felt a certain, you know, you could tell right off the bat that her reaction was very, like, like, holy shit, and he was afraid that he will hurt her in that scene, you could see that he hurt her. And that she didn't take it well. And that he needs to be careful with what he says to her. Because it'll hurt her really bad. And I feel as um, Aunt May can probably possibly potentially move on. Because she's such a young woman. And women that um, I feel like I don't know. I feel like personally she's very young. I feel like someone that's young. You know after Uncle Ben passes. She probably would want to move on. Probably want to find someone else. Because she's very young. And. You know, it just, I, I feel personally like she's too young um, because, you know, it's not believable that Peter would be concerned about her as as health. And that's something that was, you know, big for Spider-Man. Spider-Man was constantly worried about Aunt May getting sick because it was very easy for her to get sick. And her being young kind of takes away that wisdom that, you know, you saw her have because, you know, her being old, it gave off this very, you know, wise wisdom to, you know, Peter Parker. I mean, it's like kind of having Yoda or having Gandalf or, you know, it's always that wise person that you come to for advice. And I respect that, that, you know, obviously, you know, I have family members that are very young and, you know, they're, they're wise in their own unique way. But 
I don't know. Personally, if you want to go for the comic book look, please, like, just personally, just don't go um, go with a younger Aunt May. But who knows? Maybe they'll put may makeup on her, prosthetics, something to make her look um, younger. Or, no, older. Older. To make her look older. Who knows? Um, but him as Spider-Man was great. It was excellent to see him as Spider-Man. He really had that funniness. Oh, man, there's one scene that makes me laugh when... Um, Obviously, Ant-Man turns into Giant Man, and then you see Peter Parker, and he's just looking up. He's like, "Oh shit!" Like, "Oh my god!" Right there, I was just like, "Holy crap!" Did did Spider-Man just swear right now? I was just laughing my ass off. I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, that's something I would react to. Like, if I saw something fucking big, I'll be like, "Oh shit!" You know, I really loved that scene. That scene was fucking funny. That's my favorite fucking Spider-Man scene when his eyes open. And he's like, "Oh." Oh, shit you know that was like fucking perfect for me oh man fucking spider-man oh my god he's great he was excellent dude oh man <laughs> I, I really loved i really loved how it was oh man uh, him as spider-man i can't wait um and then yes there's a post credit scene where you see um spider-man um being in um Having his little mission thing, you know, a little light on his little web shooters. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, personally, I not from what I know right now, um, Marvel's thinking about, um, well, Marvel's putting Robert into a Spider-Man movie. And honestly, I feel a little conflicted about it. And I'll give you my reasons why. Um, I feel like I don't I don't want Robert to steal the show, like how Spidey stole the show in Civil War. You get me? Because I, I, don't get me wrong, I love, you know, Tom, but I want to see more of Tom. I, I, because this is a new Spider Man we're we're having, so we need to spend as much as time with Tom. So I feel like you know, sure, it's great to have Robert, but I hope Robert has like a small part in the film because I want to see more of you know, Tom in the film. I want I'm gonna see his Peter Parker, his Spider Man, have more of a play in the character, and I don't want him to. <clears throat> I just want him to have his own story arc. I don't want him to you know affiliate affiliate you know with um the avengers on his solo film like if it's his solo film i don't want i don't want to see him like like maybe interact with a few avengers here and there as a cameo but not too much because you know we're gonna get all of that in infinity wars and you know it's 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 obvious that he's gonna spider-man's gonna be in infinity wars it's obvious but i i want to see a lot of time with spider-man being you know on his own and him struggling on his own because i feel like if he has robert uh, by his side i feel like you know robert's gonna help him on the way uh, i don't want to see you know iron man help spider-man i want spider-man to you know work his own weight i want him to fight on his own and i want him to you know give you know a bet i want him to work on his own i want spider-man to be this um struggling character because that's how spider-man is he's a struggling character don't get me wrong i i I love, you know, people that come up with the original ideas for their own Spider-Man and their own, you know, things. But as a fan, you know, I feel like there's certain things that have to be a must. And there's certain things that don't really, you know, you go creative. Aunt May was, you know, one of them. But I think I'll, I'll learn to get over it eventually. I'm, I'm not going to nitpick it completely because I have yet to see the actual Spider-Man solo film. So I won't complain too much because... You know, this is Captain America Civil War. It's not Spider-Man. So who knows? Things might change. But um, personally, I feel that it was great. The performance was great. Um, I'm happy with the characters. Um, not happy with Aunt May. I'm kind of happy with the suit. I'm not a fan of the suit. I feel like it's whatever. Um, I love the eyes, though, um, and the web shooters. Um, but overall, I feel like it's going to be a great movie. And there was a lot of comical scenes with Peter. And he's so funny. I feel like he got the comedy down. You got the nerdiest now, and that's a win-win for me in my book. Well, um, with this ending, um, I'm just going to go say um, come by, guys, to support my YouTube channel and see the um, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man this Friday, uh, May 20th at Union City High School. Um, if you guys like this video, subscribe, like, share with your friends. And, yeah, this is a spoiled video, so, yeah, if you don't know, what's the deal with that? Um... Have a good night, and have a good morning if you're seeing this in the morning, and I'll see you guys. Peace. In the Middle East. Okay, that was bad.